This is video two on how to play the tambourim and the cajetero technique, which is where you twist it. So in the first video, we looked at where the accents were, and they're on the one and the four. There's actually 16 beats in, in a bar, so when the leader's going one, two, three, four, um, there's 16 beats. Sometimes it's written where a leader might just call one or two, but for today's purposes, there's 16 beats in the bar. So you've got to be able to play this quite fast. So we're going to work up to that. So the first and the fourth are the loud ones and the two in the middle are quiet it's important to remember that so it's one two three four one two three four one two three four one wait wait so find your favorite song or a song that you think fits the speed. There's no point playing, messing it up and playing it too fast. You need to make sure that you can play it right at a slower tempo and gradually increase your speed. As we get a bit faster, it's important the relationship of where you do the twist. Um, it, it affects the sound and we're going to, as we get faster, we'll try and introduce um, a swing to it. So a swing would mean instead of going two, three, four, we're going It's like a traditional swing, but it's somewhere in the middle as a samba swing. It's easier to do it when we play it fast. So Think about when you're going to do the turn with your left hand. Just try and do a bit of a swing. And that's a bit exaggerated, the swing there. But as we get faster, we can find somewhere that's half in between playing straight and with a swing like a gallop somewhere in the middle. Kind of like that. And it's all about when you turn the left hand. I can't tell you exactly how to do that. You'll have to figure that out yourself and try and feel it as you get faster. So let's have a go at playing a little bit faster. So it's not da 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 it's da 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 So my left hand's going quite quickly now. Hope that's been useful. If you've got any more questions about how to do it, do message me or leave a comment. And let me know how you got on. Bye.